First stop, the place where it all began, the birthplace of every human being alive, Africa. The Kalahari Desert, Namibia. I'm here to find an extraordinary ancient tribe of people, the San Bushmen. Our research shows that their distant relatives left Africa and set in motion the family tree of mankind. From them stemmed every color, creed, and nationality alive today. 50,000 years on, I hear their numbers are dwindling fast. Soon they could be gone entirely. I'm arriving not a moment too soon. Hello? Hi. I'm Spencer. And my two children, they are boys. This is my wife. This is the first thing I noticed was their incredible language. They speak with clicks and other sounds totally alien to me. And the word for zero? Kora. Kora. They try to teach it to me. And for two? Ta. Ta. And three? Is this strange language a window on the past? Did our ancestors speak like them? There's a reasonable hypothesis that these clicks are, in, in fact, ancestral sounds which have been lost in all of the other uh, world's languages, probably lost just once in Africa. And then the group which lost these clicks left Africa and spread throughout the entire world. I just want to tell you a little bit about why I've come here. Um, it's mostly to find out about your way of life. I'm, I'm really excited to be here. You know, it's, it's such a dream for me to get to meet the San people, the Bushmen. In a way, you carry a secret in your blood. And you can think about it like a family tree. I explained the tree was just like the family that we all belong to. My family line is one of the small fractured branches at the very top, while theirs is the oldest on earth, the biggest branch at the base of the trunk. I get the feeling I'm not explaining this at all well, but they're way too polite to say so. This is really quite embarrassing. So it's a great privilege for me to come and meet my distant relatives and the people who give us a glimpse of all of our ancestors. So in one sense, we're all Khoisan, we're all San people. It's just that my skin is slightly redder. <laughs> We would like to thank you for the information that you brought for us. Okay. 50,000 years ago, click was a new and complex language. There'd been nothing like it before. But there were other innovations too. They showed me this. It's a spear tip finely crafted from bone. It might not seem like much today, but when our ancestors started using it, it was the last word in technology. The smart missile of its day. Interesting. So they didn't use stone? No, they didn't use stone. They used the bone. The bone. Yeah. Because it's more efficient, yeah. the arrows were finer. And... Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. When they left Africa 50,000 years ago, the ancestors of these New Age people had state of the art hunting technology and a brand new language to communicate ideas. 50,000 years ago, this kind of thinking would have given them an immense advantage over their competitors, anyone who couldn't think like this. If you look on the edge of the track over here, it's, it's, got, a got, yeah, it's got a very, very sharp edge. Yeah. And that's basically their main thing, working, saying, okay, the age of the track. Mm. And then they'll take another and how size. precise can they be? I mean, to within hours? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 